Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. No, don't, don't, no, he's not here, Dr. Michael Savage, out today, don't panic, don't freak. Dr. Savage out today, but the Savage Nation is open for business. Welcome to it. Take down our number and join us. It's toll-free, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. Honored to be sitting in for Dr. Savage today. Here on the Savage Nation, I'll tell you what, he's out there. He's fine. He's doing some traveling. Nobody need panic. He'll be back early next week. Everything's cool. But I'll tell you what, I'm sure you have October 27th on your calendar Should it be a Google Calendar? The NSA, no doubt, is focusing in on that. I'm sure you have October 27th on your calendar. That's the date for the release of his new book, Government Zero. No borders, no language, no culture. And I just happen to be privileged enough to have an advanced copy of this. I will tell you, I'm sitting here in the esteemed Savage Nation Studios, and this looks like I'm reading from a chapter or maybe even some of the footnotes of the book, Government Zero. It's not. I'm reading from New, uh, New York Times and FoxNews.com. But uh, Dr. Savage himself could not have scripted the day's news any better. Hillary Clinton, our esteemed former Secretary of State, who's on the run from the law. Make no mistake about this. She's not on the run from Republicans. She's on the run from the law. And uh, she is being investigated for gross negligence, violation of the federal espionage. Act, so we are to learn from Fox News, and uh, and yet at the same time, President Obama is insisting nothing to see here. They've never, never, never compromised national security. Everything's fine. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Everything's great. Does that not sound like the formula for government zero? No national security. And that's my question for you. I want to let you hear Mrs. Clinton in her own words. And uh, dear leader Barack Hussein Obama, peace be upon him. I'll let you hear them in their own words. But here's my question in Dr. Savage's uh, absence today. Uh, My question for you is this. How bad? This is not about Republicans versus Democrats. This is not just another political battle here. This is about national security. I mean, look, the Obama, Clinton, Sanders, liberal progressives, they're quite happy to get the rest of us blown up in a terrorist attack. The reality is they're putting themselves at risk. They seemingly don't know that. I mean, there's just no critical thinking skills in place here. There's a complete lack of ability to connect dot A to dot B to dot C. But how bad must it get? Uh, before we recognize a critical mass of us in America that we are at government zero, as Dr. Savage's book title says. We are at a place where there is no... As a matter of fact, there's an entire section in the book that details... This is, again, Dr. Michael Savage's new book, Government Zero. Huge section here detailing that there is no strategy to combat the Islamic State. How bad must it get, do you suppose, before some critical mass of people wake up and demand national security? Because we're not there now. Take down our number and join us right now. It's the Savage Nation. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. Glad to be sitting in. Here's our number. It's toll-free, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Now, to the sound bites here, I want to, uh, by the way, just I was just talking with the uh, the associates of Dr. Savage here, the team that works behind the scenes here in the uh, Savage Nation studios about this. There is a very courageous guy. I hope he's okay. If you're a praying person, if you pray to, you know, Lord, God, Jehovah, Yahweh, and so forth. Please pray for this guy. Uh, His name, he is a reporter at KUSA Television in uh, the state of Colorado. His name is Brandon Ritterman. He's in the Denver market. And he had the opportunity uh, to interview one Hillary Clinton. 
And he dared to go where, you know, the, the, the folks at CNN won't go and the people at MSNBC. Oh, they wouldn't even think of asking these tough questions. At MSNBC, mindless as the operation is, there's no national security issues. The world loves us. Everything's good. You know, Barack Obama has just brought tease, peace and inclusiveness and tolerance to everybody. But this local guy, Brandon Rittman, at uh, KUSA Television in uh, the uh, Denver market here, he asks Mrs. Clinton, about her email server. Now, notice his line of questioning here. It's not just about, you know, gee whiz, you couldn't figure out how to do two different email systems on one mobile phone or whatever. He's getting to the heart of the issue and the compromising of top secret data, compromising our nation's security. Here's the line of questioning again, if you haven't heard it. Roll it, please. I'm not going to ask you a trustworthiness question about the email issue, um, but I do want to ask a judgment question. You used a small Denver company called Platte River Network works to manage your private server. It appears now that data off of that server got backed up to a cloud server somewhere else without your knowledge or consent. Um, Platte River told me if it knew, and it's not in the business of asking, but if it knew that you were planning to send State Department type information through this system, this is not the system that they would have set you up with. You're the nation's top diplomat in that role. You got to know that you know what you're sending through communications is valuable to foreign intelligence. Why go with this system? Did any part of you think maybe this isn't a good idea? No. Did any part of you see, think maybe kind of sort of you're the top? friggin' diplomat in the country. Did any part of you, Mrs. Clinton, think that maybe the well-being of others would be compromised? I'm here to tell you this guy, this guy, this very courageous journalist, real journalist, working locally in the Denver television market, I doubt that he has yet to have any clue. He doesn't understand yet the kind of holy hell that will ring down on him from the liberal progressives of this country and probably vis-a-vis -vis a variety of different federal agencies and our federal government simply for asking the question. You don't dare do that. You don't. Anyway, this is Mrs. Clinton, Hillary Rodham Clinton, to be very clear. Here she is with her meandering, obfuscating response to the question, if you can call it a response, listen to this. Well, look, I've taken responsibility uh, for what I did, and um, it was a mistake. The State Department allowed it uh, at the time, uh, and I've tried to be as transparent as possible. I'll be appearing before the Congress next week and answering a lot of questions uh, that they may have, although now it's clear that uh, this whole effort was set up uh, for political partisan purposes, not to try to get to any um, useful end. Um, but, I, you know, I'll be in a position to respond, and uh, the American people can uh, listen and watch and uh, draw their own conclusions. Okay, t I've taken responsibility. It's all Republicans' fault, but I've taken responsibility for it. There's really nothing to see here. And I, you know, that's on the calendar. I'll get to that at a later time. I've taken responsibility, and it's everybody else's fault, and it was never a national security issue. <clears throat> and now we are to learn, vis a vis foxnews.com, that uh, the FBI is indeed investigating her for possible violations of the Federal Espionage Act. In particular, they're regarding her as possibly having violated the gross negligence clause, which ties exactly back to what this uh, this guy, Brandon Ritterman at uh, KUSA Television in Denver was getting at. But then here's where it goes. And this is this leads us right back again to the theme, the narrative the idea behind Dr. Savage's new book, Government Zero. October 27th, if you don't have that on your calendar, that's the release date. President Obama was interviewed over the weekend and asked, again, some fairly challenging questions. And this has got the FBI livid because here the FBI is trying to act, trying their best to act like an independent law enforcement and investigative agency. Meanwhile, the man who sits atop the executive branch uh, kind of, sort of, just sort of threw them under the bus. This is President Obama explaining, I was never, never compromise of national security. It's no big deal. Listen to this. I don't think it posed a national security problem. I think that it, uh, it was a mistake that she's acknowledged. And, you know, as a general proposition, when we're in these offices, we have to be more sensitive and 
stay as far away from the line as possible when it comes to how we handle information, how we handle our own personal data. Uh, and, you know, she made a mistake. She's acknowledged it. Uh, I do think that uh, the way it's been ginned up um, is in part because of politics. And Isn't I think it? she'd be the first to acknowledge that uh, you know, maybe she could have handled the original decision better and uh, the disclosures uh, more quickly. Yeah, but listen, isn't this just pathetic? We recognize, we, and you have to be honest with yourself. I'm being honest with you here as I fill the seat for a few hours on the Savage Nation in the absence of Dr. Michael Savage. We've got to be honest with ourselves. Most liberal progressives in America have not the critical thinking skills to understand the enormous contradictions in what the president just said there. All 42 seconds of those remarks. It's It's been dealt with. It's just politics. We need to stay clear of the of the processes and procedures. All the while, I'm President Obama, and I'm throwing everybody under the bus who's involved in the investigation and politically meddling in the process. You see the contradiction there. You see it. I see it. But the liberal progressives in our midst who animate this insanity, they don't get it. They know Republican bad, Democrat, Obama, Biden, uh, Clinton, Sanders, good. That's that's as far as their, their, if you want to call it a reasoning process, that's as far as they go. But my question for you, how bad must it get? How endangered must the country become before some critical mass of Americans, those on the right, those in the, the middle, and some on the left, if they're salvageable, how bad must it get? How endangered must we become before a critical mass of Americans wake up and say, enough, we want national security. We're tired of this tolerance and inclusiveness and diversity and undermining the cops and ushering in uh, jihad and Sharia law. We want national security. Go after the bad guys, protect the good people. How do we get there? Here's our toll-free number. It's 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. Honored to be sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. This is the Savage Nation. Don't go anywhere. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Author and columnist Austin Hill, glad to be sitting in. It's the Savage Nation. Take down our number. It's 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Get over to michaelsavage.com sooner rather than later. I'm telling you, as I said in my setup here, I'm just, I mean, this this uh, hard copy here that I have for the New York Times this morning and uh, from Fox News earlier in the afternoon. The former Secretary of State, just take this in. Listen to the gravity of my words here. The former Secretary of State, the nation's top diplomat, the person entrusted to carry out U.S. foreign policy and to ensure U.S. interests, not the interests of the Islamic State, not the interests of the Palestinians, not the interests of Europe, the interests of the United States. The former Secretary of State, we now know, is being investigated for possibly having violated the U.S. Federal Espionage Act. In particular, uh, she may very well have violated, violated the gross negligent clause, gross negligence call, clause of that law. This is serious stuff. And yet there's, you know, Bernie Sanders just earlier in the week. Now, oh, I'm, you know, I'm tired of your stupid emails and all of that kind of stuff. At what point? How bad must it get? How close to the fire must we get in the United States of America? Before some critical mass of Americans, those of us who... Uh, love and listen to Dr. Michael Savage here on the Savage Nation. Those of us, I hope most of us, on the cultural and political right, but some in the center and maybe just you know, a few on the left who still have a few brain cells functioning. How close to the fire, how bad must it become before a critical mass of us wake up and realize how endangered we are? This is not just about Hillary Clinton can't figure out how to use a BlackBerry. This is really serious stuff. 
Here's our number again. It's 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. Glad to be sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. By the way, October 27th, that's the release date for his new book, Government Zero. I am blessed to have uh, gotten a sneak peek on this one. Uh, MichaelSavage.com. Get to his website. Order it now. Uh, it, but I'm telling you, the news today... And this is not just, you know, a right-wing news story or a left 